What's up everybody? First thing I'd like to say is thank you everybody for a thousand subs. That's so cool. Like I thank every one of you who watch my videos and you guys are all a part of me. It really means a lot because it's, most of my videos I've put up recently are just riding and stuff, but I know most of you who have been subbed to my channel since zero are wondering why I haven't been around lately. I haven't been around lately because the Vans US Open Pro Cup qualifier was at Woodward and I was really just trying to ride and session hard to practice for that. And it went pretty good. I landed what I wanted to land, but I don't think it's what the judges were looking for in a bowl style contest, but it's all right. There's nothing I can do about it. I had a great time out there. But besides the point of me not being around, I'm back. So you guys you, you guys should be happy. I'm, I'm back. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys what it was like when I rode when I was a little kid and what I used to jump and practice when I first started riding when I was real little. My main intentions with this video is to show you guys who are just starting BMX or if you don't even ride BMX, what to really do when you first start because when I first started like I don't know, I feel like nowadays people or kids who are just trying to get into it, they want to go out to the skate park and they want to do a bar spin, they want to do a tail whip, they want to do a 360 right off the get, but that's, I mean, yes, that's BMX and those are tricks that you're going to learn down the road, but you're also, you want to learn basics and bike control before any of that comes into play, because that's main factor. If you just go out to the skate park and huck a tail whip, it's not, it's not gonna work out. You need to be able to control that bike. So what I have is, is a piece of wood, a tire, another log, oh, that's a log, but it's still a piece of wood, a fire extinguisher, and a trash can. So what I do with the piece of wood is, the long flat piece of wood, I prop it up on the tire. And this is what I used to do as a little kid. You wouldn't be jumping, no, I, like I wouldn't be going to the skate park as much as I do nowadays. I would be setting up little jumps like this with a little piece of wood and jumping it on the ground and that's it, seeing how far I can go and seeing if I can go over anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of wood I'm going to set it up on this. It's not even sturdy. It's like might snap but that's just what, what I did back in the day and I know a bunch of other people did that too. It's just I don't know if you didn't know, like, when I first started, I felt like I really didn't know about the skate, like, skate parks, really, like, I knew, like, I knew of them, but, like, it wasn't like, oh, I gotta go here, I gotta go here, like, these skate parks are crazy, it was just, I was riding out my driveway for fun, and so I just put my half cut on, because I feel like for today's video, I'm not really sending it, this is what I did when I was a kid, and I don't even think sometimes I wear a helmet, but nowadays, please wear your helmet, I highly recommend it, but that was just, Back in the day, the generation, that's how it was. That's just, I don't know, you can ask all the older dudes who don't wear helmets riding street. That's just because that's how they grew up. Don't think it's because they don't want to wear a helmet. That's just what they grew up doing and that's what they believe in. So just let that ride out. But I always wear my full face at the skate park and stuff because I want to be safe. And that's why I'm wearing my helmet right now. Good old trusty, certified. But I'm going to start jumping this thing and see how far we can get. It's been a while. You know, for, first hits on the jump, they're pretty good. I, I miss doing this. It's actually really fun. Like, you go out to all these skate parks and there's jumps, there's quarter pipes, there's everything you could want at a skate park, but all you need is a piece of wood and a tire or something to prop up the thing and you can get some gnarly air. But now I'm gonna try doing some tricks off it before I, before I um put like the trash can, the fire extinguisher and the piece of wood standing up to hop over them. So I'm gonna, I think the first trick I'm gonna do is a bar spin. Now I know you're all probably just like, why, do, why is he doing bar spins? He just told us that, that you shouldn't go out to the skate park and do that. It's not that you shouldn't do it. I've worked myself up to this, being able to do it off a little jump like this. I'm just saying to get bike control, you wanna do something like this. You wanna set up sketchy jumps and like be able to handle it when you're hitting a sketchy jump. Cause all skate park jumps, they they aren't going to be the same. Some skate parks are sketchy, like Freedom, but I personally love it. But if you ask Chris Piz, anybody really, they're all going to say, "Nah, park's trash, dude. Sketchiest ramps ever." Me, I like it because I'm used to riding sketchy jumps from when I was a kid. But next trick I'm going to do is a 180.
Oh yeah, that felt good. Okay, so the tricks that I plan on getting done for the video off these, off this sketchy jump is a bar spin, got that done, 180, and then next one, I wanna do a tail whip, but I'm gonna save that for later. I'm gonna jump the piece of wood first. We're gonna start it off by jumping over the piece of wood. So we're gonna take the piece of wood, and you put it, you stand it right up, right in front of that. You, I know you guys who know me are probably like, you got this no problem, like what are, you, what are you doing? But I'm doing this to show you guys that this is all you need to build up your bike control. If I didn't have any bike control, I guarantee you I couldn't jump this. 100% positive I would not be able to jump this. But if you have bike control, you're making it right over. So we're gonna jump this piece of wood, it's gonna be awesome. So piece of wood, complete. That log didn't have anything on me. That's what you gotta do when you land, you gotta get stoked for yourself. If you're not getting stoked for yourself, then you're not having fun. You just gotta keep getting stoked. But the next thing, we're doing the fire hydrant, guys. Let's, let's do this. Let's bring this bad boy. I kinda wanna pull the trigger, but right there. Not a bad size, you know? When I was little, I'd be pushing myself to get over that, but I'd, I'd try it. So you gotta do is you just gotta believe you can do it. So we're gonna jump this bad boy. All right guys, so I got the log done. I got the fire extinguisher done. The last thing left is a trash can, but I'm feeling warm right now. I'm feeling good, so I want to tail with this thing. It's it's a sketchy jump. The wood like moves when you hit it, but I think I got it. So we're gonna we're gonna give the tail up a go. Heck yeah, dude! I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm acting like I'm taking a Snapchat to send to one of my friends, but you guys are my friends too, so I'm gonna need my camera, dude, dude. I can't believe I just did the whip off this sketchy little ramp. It was it was pretty clean, not gonna lie. I mean, it caught crane lines a little, but that's all right. Next step is we're jumping that trash can right now. And if I do that with these, I think I gotta bring something taller in here just to make it a little harder to end the video off, but trash can's going down right now. Let's do it. Dude, this thing's hefty. Some height, dude. I know I got this. Been training my whole life for this, so let's do it. I freaking did it. I jumped the trash can. I got super sketchy, but it doesn't matter because I had a lot of fun doing it. It was it's been a while. Like I've always wanted to do that since I was a, a little kid, really. Like I was like, dude, the trash can, that's high. Like none of my other friends could do that. I want to do that so bad. Just trying to jump the highest and that's what we would all do we would just have little competitions and see who could jump this jump the farthest or see who'd hit it the like hit it the highest or like just all these there's so many other things that could go into it but i just wanted to make this video to show kids that all you need is a piece of wood and a tire you don't need a crazy skate park resis or anything like that to start off riding bmx to start off riding you want to get bike control as consistent as possible to where you can hit a jump like this far and not fall where you're not scared to crank at it and just go as far as you can because you know you have bike control. And that's why I made this video mainly. It wasn't to show you guys that I can tail whip it, I can bar spin it. That's because over the years I've gained this, like a substantial amount of bike control and that's why I did it. But I'm gonna cut the video here. Just know that I'm back on YouTube and I'm gonna be filming a lot of cool videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also put some comments below on what you guys want me to do, and I'll get it done. So have a good one, guys.